Hey everyone, Nico here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on this Porsche Design Pen. It's um, a Parker G2 style refill host, so now let's compare it to a couple of pens. This is the Urban Survival Gear Tascribe Bulk, probably my favorite pen in this size and price range. Then we'll compare it to the Machine Erica Classic. And we'll line it up. So as you can see, it's quite a bit larger than the Machine Air Co. Classic. And then we'll compare it to a Parker Jotter, which takes the same refill as this guy. So another thing to note is this is, like I said earlier, a Porsche design pen. Like the, that's right, like the automobile maker. So for some people, that's a big deal for some people don't care so yeah so first thing let's do a writing sample by the way I'm using um, Rhodia dot pad paper and this appears to when I took it apart have just a Porsche design branded Parker refill and it writes like the standard refill that comes in a Parker jar not the gel one so So as you can see, it just writes like, um, like a Parker ballpoint refill. So let's move that out of the way. This pen has like a nice weight to it. It's not quite as heavy as something like the Machine Aeroco Classic and Brass, but it still has a nice heft. It also has a coating, like a rubbery finish on it. And it's just, it's made very well. It feels very solid. And the like the machining, as you can see, there's no like chatter there, and like the fin finish like around the clip, there's no like noticeable like areas where there's gaps or anything. So overall, it's pretty good. And also, the logo, it's not focusing right now, but yeah, let's see if I can get it to. It's also done pretty nicely. It's not like chatter or anything. Another thing is, it's bizarre the way that the mechanism on this pen works. It twists like that. To deploy it, you have to twist that. It's a little difficult to do with one hand. It's a lot more fine motory than just like this. Like a Parker Jotter or something. So, if you don't have super great um, hand control, like fine motor skills, like you have arthritis or something, then you might need to do it with both hands. Um, so yeah, the main problem I have with this pen is the clip. So let's zoom in so I can show you guys better. The clip is very thin and it doesn't have any ramp. Let me show you what that is. I'll use the Sebenza as a comparison. So you see how the clip goes up again? This pen doesn't, and the clip's also very thin, so when you're trying to get into your pocket, it's very tedious, and you're always worried that you're going to um, snap the clip because it's so thin. So, also, it thins back out there, so you, when you try and put it in your pocket, you only end up like that much of the pen can clip into the pocket because um, the material doesn't get thin enough. Which ends up making the clip just not very good functionally. I can get that they're trying to go with that design, but the thing is, is Lamy um, Pen Company is able to get clips that look like this, but still are functional. So what I would have recommended on this pen is that they went, made it a little bit shorter, like that length, moved that all up, and made it spring-loaded. So they don't have to have ramps so it gets to that design. But you just go and you push on there. And that part would spring up. And then when you release it, go back down. So that's the main thing that I have to complain about. Which just made it not real fun to carry around. Because you're always worried that it's going to fall out. Or 
when you tried to put it in your pocket, it was going to break. Besides that, it's a great pen. So, I mean, in conclusion, this is a nicely built pen, and I think it's more for somebody who really likes Porsches and wants to have a nicely made pen than somebody who really likes pens and wants to have a, a nicely made pen. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.